we actually put you a, a two and a three iron in here so you okay. can hit that. And then in this bag, I've actually got, there's a full set of them. Let's see what you got. Got some game. <laughs> a little. So with the H5, especially in the long irons, we were really cautious to get it to launch high, but not spin as much. All right. Yeah, I, I like the fact that you tried to take the spin down a bit. Mm -hmm. Feels pretty solid. The beautiful thing about this set is that the technology transforms when you go from the one iron down to the pitching wedge. What I mean is that by going from a fully hollow design to a half hollow design, it's a really nice transition down. So with this set, you're able to make that break wherever you need, put together a set that's gonna work perfectly for what you bring to the table. Are you hitting a three right now? Yeah, I got the three. Where are you carrying it to? Uh, over that bunker. Okay. I just wanna see how short I am. You know, mass plus speed equals distance. Right. <laughs> Need a little more, a little more mass. You know, it's an MP golf club, so we're very cautious of how it looks at a dress. It's slightly thicker than the uh, 64 and the 15, but it really just fits really nice, and it's got a perfect player shape to it. I'm just curious to see some of the numbers. Let's spin loft. Let's just... Your spin rate here is it's 7,500 with this. Yeah. So it, that's a, probably a little bit higher than typically you would have on your seven iron. But again, that's just speaking to that, that deeper center of gravity. It's just getting that ball in the air a bit more. Low fade, toughest shots for a right-hander. It's nice, nice. add a lot of carry on it still. Absolutely. Just the 10 mile an hour less speed. Yeah, it's about, sounds about right. Yeah, how, how are you with the low fade? The low fade's a tough one, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that needs work. So you carried a two and a three in this? Yeah, I have done, certainly with the longer irons. And the courses are getting so much longer now, you're hitting a lot of long irons into par fours. Right. Um, so it's nice to have something that can go a little, flight a little bit higher and come down softer sometimes. When we have our tour players play in a club like this that's on our more forgiving side of MP, it speaks volumes about what we've done in the design side. And with the H5, we took the things that were great from the MP H4, great from the MP Fly High, to build that forgiveness in and to build that workability in. But at the same time, it still appeals to a, a scratch golfer. You know, it just speaks to everything that better player looks for.